Hi friends, uh, welcome to SQL video tutorials. Uh, this session I am going to explain about uh, correlated subquery. So previous session I have already covered uh, on subquery. So how to write subqueries and what are the operators we can use like single row subqueries and multi row subqueries. Same way how can we can write for correlated subqueries and uh, most of the developers will get confused on correlated subqueries. It's very simple. Normal subqueries, what will happen? Your subquery will be executed first, and that result will be passed to your outer query only once. Okay, that outer query will be executed based on your inner query, that is your subquery. So we can name it as inner query. Okay, this also inner query. So based on your subquery result, your outer query will be executed. So that is your first inner query will be executed once. Your based on your inner query result, your outer query will be executed. That is normal subquery. Then correlated subqueries means there is a relationship between your outer query and inner query. That is joint condition. You can identify in where class your inner query where class. So your inner query where class, your outer query, some of the table column will be joined. That is called correlated subquery. So every record, your first subquery will be executed and that record will be matched with your outer query. Then your outer query will be executed. Same thing. So it will go by record by record. So based on your condition, this condition will be validated one by one, one by one based on your column we are given in your inner query that is called correlated subquery that is called correlated subquery so this is the major difference you can identify normal subquery and correlated subquery let's uh, start with one example here i'm removing this what i'm doing i'm getting employees uh, all employees information i'm making alias name where salary greater than average salary average salary again from employees table here what I am taking here I am giving the some other name a a dot department id equal to E dot. So E means this is your outer query. Department. So like this. So each department it will go by with average salary and it will fetch the records from your employees table. And how it will go means normally if you are writing without this joint condition, first your inner query will be executed then based on your inner query result outer query will be executed but here you can see another where class in your inner query if you have a where class in inner query and any one of the joint condition with your outer query those queries will be calling us correlated subqueries those queries will be calling us correlated subqueries when we will going for this if you have a requirement to join these two tables uh, with the outer queries tables and inner query tables that time we'll be going for correlated subqueries so how to identify this query is a correlated subquery means in your inner query this is my inner query is my subquery in your where class if you are joining any column from your outer query table those queries will be calling as correlated subqueries and default if you are using exist operator that time also will be going for that time also will go in for correlated subqueries so let's show another example with exist operator i want to get all the employees information where exist select star from department so I want all the employees which is available in department table. Okay. So here I'm 
alias names here remember this departments and where class I am using here d dot department id equal to e dot department id so both tables having a department id I am joining this so departments uh, okay I have used uh, now you can see here which is available all the departments from this table I am getting this here you can see okay and there is another table say so jobs history if you are looking for only histories uh, you can see here 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 you can see departments or you, you can go with employee IDs if you are looking for only all this employee IDs you can go for same thing for exist operator and normally all the developers will be using exist for improving the performance and you need to remember when you are going for exist operators okay and your inner query having less records your inner query is having less records Betterly, you can use uh, exist operator why because it will give a good performance and if you have more queries then we can't we use exist means so if we have a inner query with a more records like a huge data in your sub query as well so why because your inner query is having less records exist will give a better performance your inner query will have a more records your exist will degrade your performance why because it is going by a row by row you can see here so this condition will hit you degrade your performance if we have a more records in your inner query table so when we can go for exist normally in data warehousing uh, if you are joining with the dimension tables normally dimension tables will have a less records but if you have a rare requirement with some fact tables uh, you are using inside exist so don't use exist operator because it is going for row by row instead of exist you can use in operator in operator will give a more like good performance compared to exist if you have an inner query result is more okay and your inner query result is less again exist will give a better performance so this is the way we can go for writing correlated subqueries correlated subqueries we can identify based on your inner query join condition your inner query that outer table will be joined here that is called your inner query and outer query there is a relation here so that is called correlated subqueries so same thing you can write here so department id or you can go okay is all in department historical 91 you can see here same thing you can go for the employee id so these are the joints available so these are all the historical uh, jobs who are already work based that is jobs history table i am joining with the employee table i am getting all the information jobs history which is current jobs information so this table will have a previous job history information this table will have a current jobs information i need employees who already worked those employees i am returning here so this is the way we can go for writing correlated subqueries in sql so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates my channel thank you very much